Hey friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the most infectious diseases in the world that has been affecting humanity since ancient times. And despite advancements in medicines, it is still one of the most destructive sicknesses ever known. And it's called tuberculosis or popularly known as TB. So, in today's episode, let us learn about TB, its causes, symptoms and prevention to spread awareness amongst our families, friends and teachers. Zoom in! So, what is tuberculosis? Well, it is an infectious disease caused by a type of bacteria called mycobacterium. Tuberculosis can travel through the air into our windpipe and enter our lungs. And when that happens, typically our immune system detects the bacteria and sends an army of immune cells called the macrophages to the infected area and chew the unwanted bacteria. In most cases, this immune response is more than enough to deal with TB bacteria. But not everyone can be so fortunate enough. Yes, those with weak immunity due to any underlying medical conditions such as HIV, diabetes, malnutrition, etc. find it hard to fight the TB bacteria. And when that happens, the mycobacteria takes over the macrophages and begins to reproduce and multiply inside it. And soon, they begin to form colonies in the surrounding lung tissues, infecting them and eventually destroying them, leading to severe chest pain and can cause the person to cough up blood. The infection in the lungs can decrease the level of oxygen in it creating a series of hormonal changes inside the body, such as a decrease in appetite, leading to weight loss, back pain, abdominal pain, fever, night sweats, and can even harm the brain function. Also, it is very, very, very important to know that TB can be contagious. Yes, my friends. If an infected person who is untreated sneezes or coughs, it sends droplets with the bacteria into the air. Inhaling these infected droplets is the usual way TB can spread from one person to another. But not everyone who inhales infected droplets will get sick or show such symptoms. And that is the reason it is divided into two categories. First is the latent TB infection. This is when people have the TB bacteria in their bodies, but they don't feel sick or have symptoms. And fortunately, they also cannot pass TB to others. Next comes the TB disease. This is when people with M. tuberculosis bacteria become sick and have symptoms. Sometimes it can happen if a latent TB infection was not treated and they can spread TB to others. But the critical question is, is there anything we can do to prevent this disease? Well, you can take a few small steps to keep yourself safe and healthy. First is to avoid close contact with anyone who has active TB. Next is to maintain a healthy diet by eating fresh fruits and vegetables and hygiene. And lastly, if you find anyone you know seems to have any of the mentioned symptoms, do ask them to visit a doctor. As with timely treatment and the right medicine, their lives can be saved. Trivia time! Did you know, according to WHO, 
about one quarter of the world's population is infected with tuberculosis bacteria, only a small proportion of those infected will become sick with TB. Also, of the estimated 10 million people who fell ill with TB, only 7 million were detected and notified in 2018, leading to a gap of 3 million cases. Ending the TB epidemic by 2030 is among the health targets of the Sustainable Development Goals and make TB a thing of the past. Hope you learned a lot from today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.